this ludicrous MP who um, sort of spends his entire life... He first came to prominence after being filmed lying. He set up a con. Have you seen this? Have I ever played this to you? So he was being accompanied around Ashfield by a journalist and a film crew, and he, he, he offered to knock on a random door to find out what a member of the public thought about him or about issues. Conservative Party, how are you doing? I recognise you. It's, it's Steve, isn't it? Yeah, I recognise you. But he forgot when he went to talk to his mate behind the door to set up this completely bogus and fraudulent interview, he forgot that he still had the microphone on that had been supplied by the film crew. So they actually recorded him setting up the con. I'm you know who I am. You know I'm the candidate, but not a friend. All right. Uh, I'm out at Staff Car Park. Have a quick look. Yeah? All right, my daughter. I'll see you in a minute. Which subsequently... Uh, fell apart in his hands. That was an early indication of the kind of calibre and competence of politician that Lee Anderson would prove to be. So he was in the news a bit yesterday for sticking his oar in to the, uh, well, people using food banks are all swinging the lead or, or not managing their money properly. And in order to prove this point, he elected, I'm going to take this story from the Daily Mail, because the Daily Mail is normally so far up the fundament of conservative politicians that they wouldn't be able to tell you whether it was night or day. And, and what, what he did yesterday was release a photograph of a young female colleague, a parliamentary staffer. He, he has the seventh highest turnover of staff in the House of Commons on this. I, I don't know how interesting you find that, but there are quite a lot of MPs. To have the seventh highest turnover of staff is very interesting. He tweeted out the salary details of his staffer, a young woman in her 20s, and offered up the claim that this proved that people didn't need to use food banks. Uh, she is single. So this is what he wrote. Katie works for me. She is single and earns less than 30k. Rents a room for £775 per calendar month in central London. Has student debt, £120 a month on travelling to work. Saves money every month. Goes on foreign holidays and does not need to use a food bank. Katie makes my point really well. I mean, she doesn't, is the first point to make. If you are, I mean, we spoke to Karen yesterday, whose husband was killed in a motorcycle accident four years ago. They have four children. They were doing fine before he died. Now they are struggling. So quite what the existence of a, of a single woman living in a rented room in London has to say about the experiences of a, of, a, of, a, of a nurse and mother of four, a widowed mother of four who is also a nurse, is beyond me. But it's not beyond 30p Lee, because he adds, Katie makes my point really well. I don't know that anyone would be able to work out precisely what his point is beyond the idea that anybody using food banks is either lying or behaving fecklessly. But what he did to this young woman by using her essentially as a human shield is that he turned the spotlight onto her. Her boss has announced to the world that the details of her life are now fit for public consumption. So inevitably, many people, both on Twitter and then beyond, dived into the details of her life. And they discovered, among other things, that she attended a school where the fees are, I think, in excess of £30,000, that her father uh, was a brigadier in the army and is now the chief operating officer of York Minster. Um, he, he was recently the director of operations for all army recruiting and initial training. He, he received a CBE. I can tell you what her mother does for a living. She's the chief executive of a charity in Yorkshire. I'm getting all of this from the Daily Mail, left, lest you want to lie to yourself and claim that it's some sort of um, lefty conspiracy and of course a school where tuition starts at £11,300 per term suggests that this young woman this to my mind blameless young woman is not really a poster girl for living on a pittance so that has rather blown up in his face um, as, as you would perhaps expect I, I don't know really they got they pulled a whip from Bridgen didn't they for completely detaching himself from observable reality I don't think Lee Anderson has gone down that particular rabbit hole but you imagine what it's like being a conservative whip I'm not suggesting anyone should have any sympathy for them they made this bed but how do you deal with a backbench MP who's doxing his own staff insulting everybody who uses a food bank offending every nurse in the country and then challenging members of the public to boxing matches <laughs>